This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Full Sail University. Welcome back to the episode of Rentinger's Rants. It's the show where I rant and rave on something that has to do with technology. So this week I am continuing my top 10 smartphones of all time. Last week we did 10 through 6. This week we are going for the gold with 5 through number 1. <laughs> These are all phones that meant something to me that either affected me kind of personally or my career just have a very warm spot in my heart. So if you didn't see last week's episode, you should watch it. So let's go ahead and start with number five. This is the Motorola Razr, which came out in 2004. I always remember I was living in Los Angeles. I waited in line for this phone. I waited till the AT&T store could open. This phone had been rumored to be coming out for a while and finally came. I saved my money for so long to get this phone. I could not believe that a phone could be that thin. Even the keypad looked like it was an etched screen. It was just absolutely incredible. Everything about the device was awesome and it screamed cutting edge. And that was one of the phones that again started my love affair with technology. It was just incredible and really was one of the flagship of Motorola's designs. In my opinion, one of the best looking phones of all time. Number four, the Nexus One, the phone that ushered in the Nexi and Pure Android experience, released on January 5th, 2010. If you remember, this guy had a 3.7 inch screen, 480 by 800 resolution, and shipped with Android 2.1 Eclair which goes back quite a while. I loved this phone. I loved HTC's design. Remember I had that little scroll ball right in there. I still have one in the office. This is an incredible phone. It really represented the developer's device for Google, the one that all developers could code for, the reference phone, and it kickstarted the whole Nexus revolution and it secured its spot at number four. So this next choice might be a little odd to you. You might not even know what this is, but number three is the Sidekick Color, or really any phone the Sidekick line. I loved the Sidekick. I remember I had just graduated college in 2003. I'd come home and the sidekick was everywhere. I had a cell phone already, but I just wanted that service. I wanted to be able to I am. It had a browser built in. It really had apps before apps were available on a phone. And the keyboard is absolutely incredible. I remember I just wanted to have AIM to AIM my friends. I waited, I got it, I had a separate data plan and I used the heck out of this thing. It had a cool swivel screen. It was built by Danger which don't really hear that anymore, is used on T-Mobile service. It really was T-Mobile's flagship device. The Sidekick line has kind of since been killed. They tried to revive it with Android. This phone was incredible. It did everything, and phones didn't really do that stuff uh, back then, so that definitely got the number three spot in my list. Number two, let's stick with T-Mobile, the T-Mobile G1, also known as the HTC Dream, released in 2008. This was the first Android phone to ever hit the market. Had a 3.2 inch touchscreen. Remember this guy launched? No multi-touch was enabled on it. You could download eventually a second browser that you could sort of do multi-touch with. Uh, it didn't even have an on-screen keyboard. It sort of screen swiveled out and you could use the very first version of Android. And in fact, hackers were able to get this phone to run almost the most current version of Android. I believe they got it all the way up to the last version of Jelly Bean. This was an incredible device. It might not have been the best phone at the time. The keyboard was average, the specs were okay, but what the phone represented was absolutely incredible. This represented Google's foray into phones. It really started the whole Android revolution and really pushed all phones forward. And now let's count down to number one. Can I get a drum roll, please? This is the original iPhone released in 2007. Now, before everybody gets caught up in iPhone versus Android, 2007, Android wasn't even a thing. This was the very first real smartphone out there that revolutionized the whole world. Blackberry dominated at the time. This phone brought multi-touch to the masses. It brought on-screen keyboards to the masses. They didn't have to use a stylus to tap on. Speaking of that, it brought capacitive screens to the masses. And most importantly to me, the original iPhone kind of launched my career uh, when it came to mobile phone reviewing. I remember I went to my local Apple store, I think it was at 10 p.m. that night, and I picked up a phone. I couldn't believe they still had them in stock. I was able to try it and use it and it really was the first phone that I reviewed that I did updates on as I used it. And it really, again, sort of helped me tone and get better at doing reviews. If you watch those original iPhone reviews, they were not very good. Google and Apple certainly pushed each other forward. And I think that was a phone that really brought this whole modern era of the smartphone. So the iPhone definitely gets the number one spot in my book. Do you agree or disagree? I want to hear from you on your list. What would your top five of all time be? What would your top 10 of all time be? Leave them in the comments down below. So we stop the countdown for a minute. Thank our friends, our sponsors at Full Sail University. You know, of course, the mobile app industry is on fire 
fire right now in Full Sail University's online mobile development bachelor's degree program can teach you the skills that you need to take advantage and get involved in all the damn opportunities. You've been hearing about apps, you've got ideas for a game, they can help you give you the skills to actually make it. In this degree, you'll learn both the programming side of things and the business side, of course, which is also important. It goes into mobile development so you can develop concept, deploy, and market application from start to finish. You'll explore advanced programming languages, visual frameworks, usability, principles, app development for iOS and Android operating systems. So obviously between the App Store and Google's Play Store, over 50 billion apps have been downloaded with really no signs of slowing down. So if you want to master technology and software that goes into making applications, this is the place to go. So go check out fullsale.edu slash technobuffalo to learn about this online degree program.